the idea for this device came from my early earlier visits to museum where i found out that foreign visitors usually found it difficult to understand the cultural and the art artistic artifacts present in various locations of our great country now when we sat down and understood this particular competition we came up with this idea so that this was novel as well as cheap and could be easily integrated into any foreign language of the user convenience hence we came up with this novel idea of providing a guide which could guide users into museums with various artifacts cultural or artistic and also at the same time this can be integrated onto a more larger platform with cities being considered into account wherein the cities can be practically identified hotspots can be identified and people can be guided with regards to various locations whether it be cultural medicinal or industrial and hence this product can be applied onto a much larger platform provided the given opportunity and the given components and the given necessary resources thank you for this project we are very grateful to our mentor and guide mr arif mo arif uddin sohe who has been very instrumental in providing timely help also we would like to thank from the bottom of our heart to mr faiz mr mujib and a co student of ours mr imran khan they have been very instrumental in helping us with various aspects whether technical or non technical regarding this project moving on with the difficulties that we have faced in this particular project the server was a very difficult aspect because we had to consider the factor that we were working on a windows 7 pc and we had to work on a windows xp pc that did not had much options for us also we had to establish a link between the rfid and the zigbee card reader which was very difficult since both of them are very sub are separately used and we could not find sufficient information on that and we have we had to work from the basics moving on with the usefulness of the ti resources we are very grateful to ti for providing us with resources such as the eda board the ti educators forum as well as software such as energia and ccs that has been instrumental in programming and coding and also in learning various aspects of msp also with regards to the non technical aspects we faced one difficulty that of the pcb manufacturing since we were very short on time we had to use this particular resource and uh, provided a further time frame we will fur further develop with the pcb also moving on with regards to further resources that could that could have already helped us we would have been very grateful if we could have been provided an opportunity to use and interact the audio booster pack cc2500 and also the zigbee pack that is c2000 now these packs have a wider range and wider compatibility with the ti msp products and given a chance we would also like to further integrate these particular products onto our already existing product thank you so kids here we have the device prototype here is a 9 volt battery we are using to power up our device we are using two zener diodes to bring down the voltages for usage with the lcd and msp zigbee nodes Here we have the LCD con connections and a rear chart uh, for change in contrast. This is the RFID tag that will be read by the uh, reader module installed in each room. This is our MSP four three zero. Oh, microcontroller that is programmed to use all these components, all these peripherals. And here we have the Zigbee node. And the Zigbee node is responsible for all transmission uh, to and from the device. Let's move on to the detection module. Here we have an RFID tag that will be read by this RFID reader. The RFID reader will read the unique code and send it to the microcontroller for further processing. The microcontroller will process it in such a way as such that at the server will be able to receive and process it and here is a zigbee module which will be sending it over to the zigbee connected at the server end these are all uart connections it uses software uart to process the uh, incoming and outgoing signals now let us take an example of a room a tourist enters the room with a device the rfid tag gets scanned and through the zigbee nodes he instantaneously gets the information he requires now let's have a look at the server we have created here is a zigbee node connected to the computer through an rs232 communication port let us have a look at the database we have created here are list of rfid tags associated with the zigbee nodes 
and here are a list of rooms and the characters that will be sent by the zigbee nodes and here's the java code that is being used to connect the database is with the serial communication ports the processing that happens the query language all of it and for this server we would like to specially thank mr emra and of csc department of our college